Hi, this is Michael, VK5ZEA from Port Lincoln in South Australia. Another YouTube video for you. Tonight, um, I'm showing you some of the noises I'm hearing on HF. Noises that I've tracked down to the activity of uh, my network switch at home. Uh, Ten years ago, or more now, I uh, wired the house up with Cat5 cable and uh, have been enjoying the benefits of a, a home network with multiple computers and uh, broadband internet and media players and all the good things that you uh, get with a uh, an ethernet network um, but it's come at a price and this is the noises I'm hearing up and down the band this is on uh, 20 meters although I do hear it in the lower bands as well right up to uh, 10 meters go again there's some more and it happens uh, fairly regularly as we tune around here we go again um, I thought it might have been my network switch which I've actually got right here this is a, a Linksys uh, SR2016 so I swapped it out with a friend's Netgear switch a 10100 switch and um, the noise is still happening so it's not specifically my switch and what I've done is for a demonstration um, of why in a, an RF relay I can uh, remotely kill the power to the network switch with this uh, this fob powers off powers on go back down a bit find the noise again bit of activity on 20 tonight oh, there it is again it's a fairly distinctive noise. You can sort of, it's like multiple tones. And once again, turn the power off. Turn the power on. And it's back. And down again, we'll find it again. It's like the signal's dropping down. That's an S2 there. Turn it on. Jumps up to peaking at S, uh, S4, S5. So it's not an insignificant noise. Now, what to do about it, I'm not really sure at this stage. Maybe uh, I'm going to try, first of all, to clamp ferrite cores on the Ethernet cables as they uh, leave the patch panel and head out around the house. Um, I've thought about possibly rewiring the house with Cat6. I mean, back when I did the original wiring job, it was uh, Cat5. Cat6 has a much better twist, so it could potentially work better as far as radiating noise, I'm not sure. Um, not really looking forward to rewiring the house if that's the case. Um, but yeah, so, uh, and, and turning the thing off is not an option anymore. Um, yeah, I rely on this home network too much for, for fun and for work and for playing media files and internet access and ham radio, my IRLP node and D-Star and all that sort of stuff all goes through this network. So it, it's got to stay up. I can't turn it off. So I've got to try and work out um, how to minimise it or eliminate it. Now, the problem is, is that I might fix my network, but the neighbours might be causing trouble. I actually have found instances of this noise where it's not coming from my house so it could be coming from a neighbor's house so um, yeah I'm not gonna be able to get rid of it altogether but if I help uh, help it here at least then that'll be a step in the right direction so it's um, a little bit annoying when a weak signal pops up under that noise and you can't really hear it um, turn it off it goes away turn it on noise comes back it's very annoying it's an annoying noise anyway there you go this is Michael VK5ZEA from Port Lincoln in South Australia 7.3's for now and we'll talk to you again soon